Couples Tower Isle, I snuck into the kitchen and surprised Chef Stefan. All right, Stefan. Hi. How, How are, are you, Mark? sir? You're, Excellent, thank you. You got some things going on. We hate to interrupt you because I know you're busy back here. It's a little, a little bit of chaos here in the kitchen at these resorts. There's a lot going on today. So tell me, one of the things that people really want to know about is they're out there and it's tranquil, it's calm, they're enjoying their vacation. Right. And then you come back here, which they never see, and you see organized chaos. All right? That's what I see, a little organized chaos. It now, is, we have a lot going on. Back right. Back, absolutely. I think one, one thing we all wonder is, how do you prepare food for like a resort of this size, for let's say 400 guests or so, how are you able to turn out food with, for so many people with so many different choices, yeah. how are you able to do that consistently and deliver a good product? I mean, you see, the key is to really organize it all into individual teams, that's where it starts. So you break up your kitchens um, with the preparation areas, you put a, a senior person, a sous chef, somebody I've worked with for a long time in charge of different areas, yep. and give them their team and then they basically do it. So what happens is um, we work together, we come up with menus, with food concepts, we um, work on recipes together, we, 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 we plate the dishes, we cook them together, we take photographs, yeah. and, um, and then you have them in the various outlets, and it um, becomes quite easy, really. So you feel like, so even though for someone like me, I'm looking at it saying, man, I don't know how I would be able to, to handle it, it's just, you've been doing this now a dozen years. Uh, 20 odd years, yeah. 20 so odd years, years. okay, but you've been with couples been cooking. for 12 years. I've been with couples in Jamaica for 12 years. Wonderful. Never thought I would ever stay that long. Yeah. And it just happened, and um, here I am 12 years later. Love the Jamaicans, and, uh, man. Exactly. That's awesome. Yes. No, Great I'm place. a really good time here. Well, you mentioned the outlets. So we have these various outlets, right? right. Whatever they happen to be. So you, in this property, you have Mediterranean, you have fine dining, Caribbean fusion. You have Jamaican, of course. Asian. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Asian chef from Thailand. Okay, so that, all right, so Asian chef from Thailand. So that is that the magic to creating the unique types I of food? Asian, really. I mean, coming from Europe, I'm talking about myself now, of course. You have so many different food cultures there, and, and mix of Italian and Mediterranean, and you yeah. know, the Spanish and the European, and the French. But Asian, really, I always believe in having an Asian chef. I mean, there's something yeah. to be said about somebody that grows up cooking Asian food. And Mayuri, who is our Asian chef here. She learned cooking from her mother and um, you know, right. the flavors that she has there so absolutely incredible. Well, so for forward. Asian, I really like to have an actual expectation. Well, that's, that's neat because I'll tell you what, the thing we're doing tonight is we're dining in Asian. But this, this resort, this resort and I think the couple's chain is all about romance, right? right? So one of the things that's a great option for people who are staying at any of the properties is private dining. If I was coming with my wife and or someone's coming with a significant other, what would they do? Uh, what, what, what venue would they want for that fine dining? I mean, it can be anywhere. I have different locations, of course, that people yeah. can choose. I mean, most most people like to actually, most couples like to dine on the beach because there's something quite amazing. Right. You're right there by the waterfront and the sunsets and you've got the lights going and the torches and, um, you know, and you have your personal waiter down there. And, uh, but you could have the table set up anywhere, over by the spa, in a more tranquil area, or, or very private and personalized under the trees. And so, so, so if I if I got here at four o'clock in the afternoon and I wanted to really do something special at the last minute, what could you turn out quickly for us? I mean, and how would you make too, it special? Well, we'd have to. Uh, I would look around, of course, and see what we have in stock because one of the things that I strongly believe in is using fresh local ingredients. And um, being in Jamaica, we have the most wonderful, wonderful ingredients. We might not have everything available all year round, but um, when we have, let's say, mango season, or when breadfruit or ahi is in season, we just have them, and they're just so, so delicious. So it would all be basically doing a menu on the spot, looking around the kitchen, seeing what fresh items we have available, and then coming up with something wonderful. And something wonderful, and that's what private dining's about. Uh, a look into the kitchen here at Couples Tower Isle with the executive chef, the guy behind the scenes with his team making it all happen.